okay so now in this video we will whenever we hit with the collider when the zombie comes okay when they when we spawn zombies we want to show some text right here on the screen that danger zone activated or zombies are coming something like that okay and also when the player ammo finishes then we want to show some text that out of ammo or something like that okay so let's add both of that first right here in the menu canvas let's duplicate the objectives and let's drag and drop this right here activate it actually delete it add a UI canvas by the name of danger zone warning now let's try and drop that up there and then from the menus let's duplicate the objectives and drag and drop that in there and change this to warning let's activate this now okay and what we will do right here first of all delete all of that and then remove that name it just heading and in here we will type danger zone activate it let's change this to 500 by 70 or actually 900 okay danger zone activated and inside this heading add a ui text and in here we will say danger zone is activated for 10 second run towards nearby building because in the building the as in some of the buildings the zombies can't come in let's select the point actually go inside the scene okay and right here Turn on the gizmos now. Try and drop that there. Change the phone size. Okay, the phone size is fine. Let's just change the width to 400. Or let me say 7 or 800. Okay, 800 will be enough. Change its color to white. Or actually red. No, change the color to white and the danger zone to red that's it now in the game view it will look like this from the warning remove this objective thing and also we can now simply close that and now let's click on danger zone 1 open up the script and inside this zone respawn script remove that comment from danger zone one okay or right here create a enumerator by the name of danger zone timer we will show that for some time so for that we will type Danger zone one dot set active true. We will show that menu for nine seconds, or you can actually show this for five seconds if you want, and then we will set it to false again. And when we want to show this is when the player hits the spawn point collider. So just call that function like this. Now let's play the game. Let's click on danger zone one right here. We need to provide this. Okay, let's play it. Okay, it is deactivated for now. Now, as you can see, when we approach in it, it will show this. But actually, what we want right here is that we don't want this 
and then go to the blacked out okay we want this like that fully white or oh, actually let's move this a little bit darker okay now we show this and now let's show the ammo out text for the ammo out we can actually duplicate this and change its name to ammo out canvas and put this inside our player let's activate this and let's change color to fully white and right here in the heading we will simply type that ammo out okay remove this and let's move this heading down below to the center so click on this and show this on the center but a little bit right there okay like this now let's just close that in the rifle script as you can see we leave a comment for ourselves when the magazines become zero then what we want to do we want to show the ammo out so for that we will create a function first of all an emulator and that we already did it right here so just copy that paste it right here change its name to ammo out or actually show ammo out let's add a reference at the top so right here create a header by the name of sounds and ui and here we will need a reference to our ammo out ui and then in here instead of this we will type ammo out ui and then right here we will call that an emulator function which is show ammo out now guys let's make the magazine just for testing purposes as one save the game let's play it in full screen and let's pick up the rifle okay here's the rifle let's fire up as you can see we just only have one mag Whoops, it didn't show that. Let me deactivate the rifle. Okay, and right here we didn't add the ammo out UI, so add that there. Go into debug mode. The magazines are 10, let's make it 1. Actually, right here, make it 10, and here we will just make it 1. Okay, let's play the game. Here is the objective. Let's pick up the rifle now. As you can see, it is showing the UI. And now, if we fire up the bullets. As you can see we have one magazine now we have zero magazines and as you can see when we fire it shows the ammo out for some time and you can see we can't shoot as you can see it shows ammo out and then it just vanish so in this way you can add the ammo out and the danger zone warning to the player